Uh, all right, I am finally starting my buckets for. I'm gonna do some hydroponics. I'm gonna dabble my way into it. I've been seeing enough videos on YouTube. I think it's MHP Gardener, MPH Gardener, one of those two, and I still work. Those two have inspired me to do hydroponics, and then I'm gonna stretch out the aquaponics because this fella I work with does them. So, baby steps. Anyway, so this is what I do right here. Uh, let's see if I can do this one hand. I didn't bring my good cameras with me. I was in a hurry last night. Anyway, I get a good healthy portion of that. And I put it in there. And I pick this up. I know I ain't gonna be able to do that. I shake that back up. And then I'll do a little bit more than that and I'll, uh, a few more rocks in there than that. Then I dump them in here. And then I will take them home. And after that, I'll wash them, clean these buckets up a little bit more now. And then I'm going to make them into those bateau buckets that, uh, that MHP Gardner talked about. I'm pretty sure that's it, MHP Gardner. I tried toying around with making a few already. <laughs> I got some grommets finally that'll fit half inch and I got some that'll fit three quarter inch pipe. So either or should work. I got so much of that three quarter inch pipe that they got left as water sprinkling system that didn't work that I tore apart. So anywho. I'm just making a short little show that I can use when I make a bigger video on this garden how I got these rocks. They're free. They got a lot of organic material. I got to get out of there and there. But that's easy enough. I'll, I got an idea. How I'm going to strain them, wash them, clean them up, and get them ready to go. All right. There's many different ways to make these buckets. These are gonna be what is considered, they call them a bateau bucket. And uh, I think it's B-A-T-O, bateau bucket. But anyway, it's just something that the water can go through and something that the plants can stay in. Now, I, I went and I'm gonna do everything I can on a budget, cause that's where I kind of do things. I mean, I can go out and buy stuff and I can spend the money, I got it. But I like to do things I like to do it how I can do it if I can get it for free. All these buckets were for free. These actually once had some kind of oil product in them, but they have been very cleaned out, very cleaned out since then. And uh, I went to, I land, I land in uh, where we hunt. Has gravel on it, like you don't know. I took some video, I'm gonna put that in there, I hope. Anyway, of collecting it. And it's, you see, it's still got, it's dirty. It's still got some organic matter in it. So what I do, and I went and bought today cinder blocks to put these on. And this ultimately should be done in the greenhouse, which I am gonna do later on. But um, I wanted to, I'm gonna wade into this because I don't know how to do this. I've grown many gardens in soil, but I've never done it like this water gardens. So I'm gonna try this hydroponic stuff. Anyway, uh, I know you can use uh, perlite or hydroton or hydroton, whatever they call it. And then I get this for free. I get, get rocks tons for of free them up because over I got our place. It just takes a little back breaking work. So what I do is I got some of this little small screen. Not small enough, but I put them in there. And then I'll take the hose right now and I just hose that down man it's been a wet rainy day I wish it wouldn't have been because I could have got a lot more done and I'll just get that pick as much of that stuff out as I can roots and all that that way in there get that out of there 
Yeah, I hate some of that pea gravel slipping out of there too. So I'm gonna put it in a clean bucket. I meant to do that on top of here. So anyway, I take this soupy pea stuff, pea gravel, that's pea gravel. I'll put it in there. This is some of the dirty rocks. And I'll just pull them in there. And go to washing them off again. Alright. Put the clean rocks on there. That's how I do them. Oops, I felt a few of them hit my feet. I'm trying not to do. <laughs> I lost a few of them here. I don't want to lose them because these are hard to get. It's a little work. That all came out of there. That's all good rocks right there. Most of that's the sand. So. It goes decently fast enough. What I, what I think about this is that, you know, this is not the, alt, the best way to go, I guess. But when you're doing things and you're trying to save a dollar here and there, I don't have to buy all that other stuff. And this is good media for the growing. I'm going to use it, I'm going to do it. What you ought to look for is every way you can save it yourself to do so, to save a dollar or so. That way you can do that much more. Right here. Now, one thing that MHP got there when they speak on the guy says rocks is heavy they are that's why I ain't filling them buckets all the way up to the top there's five gallon buckets I think he's using four gallon buckets and rocks and they pretty washed off with all the sand they still got a little bit of organic matter in there but I'm gonna let them I guess these are old onion or potato sacks or something the last area of filtering yeah. And that's it. I'm gonna try and show you how start the, a person who never done hydroponics before, who just watched YouTube videos and could talk to people he knows that does it, how I start. And you know, this is gonna be purely watching someone that doesn't have any knowledge except for what he garnered off of uh, videos on YouTube and just research does. And uh, We'll see how it works out, you know? These rocks. I mean, people use that hydroton or hydroton, whatever it's called, I don't know. And uh, people use perlite, I believe. But I'm gonna use rocks. Alrighty. I'm gonna get some of this two inch pipe. Cause I'm gonna use some of that. Might be a note. 
I believe this is still standing up. Yep, two more of them. Right there, right there. Can you, if I have to? I hooked up six of my Dutch bucket hydroponics. Doing it outside because I don't have a greenhouse. So I'm just, this is an attempt and see what happens. And uh, I have it hooked up. You can see that water's coming out of there. Just a trickle, but that's all you need. That's six of them. And this is how I made my little reservoir. Coming from here, going through this little irrigation line right here, half inch irrigation line to these little outlets that come off of that. And you, what you do is you, you take one of these, and I'm sure you could do this with a pliers, but they got this little tool I bought for next to nothing on Amazon. It's a rain maker tool, I think. Rain, rain bird, rain bird, and rain bird plugs. You put that in there, you kind of get in there, it's got a little point on it, and you just stab it right into that wire, that wire, that, that hose. And it works. You just, and then you just plug this, it plugs into that little, into that little, uh, quarter inch tubing I'm gonna change all of these out I got that one over there is made so I gotta come up through here and make buckets so what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be one of the buckets this is the one I want one inch for the half inch PVC to fit, you will want a one inch hole drill bit. That's a one inch right there. Well, what I'm gonna do is, uh, shoot, I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm upset because I went there and I heard the boy say I got the wrong one. He went back and picked it up. So I'm gonna put it right there. A little bit higher, right there. Okay. These are just grommets I got off of Amazon. I think they were one inch ground it so a little less I guess one inch because it's one inch hole I'm drilling but that's what you need because you want it to fit in that hole and plug that up so it fits in there nicely got kind of flicking on the other side too that's what I'm doing from the inside to get it to fit properly. Cut off a, a nice little hunk of it. All right, I'm gonna take just a little dab of soap. Yeah. That's a little cut up piece. Get all that out of 
started there. Right. So I'm uh, just go ahead and you hold it back so it don't push that grommet through. And you go ahead and put that in there like that. And you push an elbow inside so that it don't clog up the hole, I guess. And one on the outside, go into the the return. What I had done is I had filled these buckets all up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bucket and pour them rocks on in there. I did learn that put some under there. Still had a little sand in there from when I had done the cleaning. Boy, that was dirty. So, here's another bucket. And what I'll do is I'll hold this one out. Do the same. Right there. A little bit higher. There you go. All right. I ain't doing no precise measuring or anything like that. So, grommet. Just a little bit, just to lubricate it in there. Mm -hmm. I miss. So, I want to get them to where they're close to lining up with the with the return. So I'm gonna pull this one a little bit more out like that. Yeah. That one's about there, but yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough. Yeah. Yep. So that's good. I should have thought about that a little bit more better. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Put some rocks in there. Huh. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead since I got those two buckets made up I'm going to go ahead and show this so that I can quit filming and just get on with it <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and shut the pump down so it don't squirt out So what I'm going to do with this bucket, I'm just going to go ahead and put one of these about, oh, of course it fell out. There it is right there. So I'm going to put it, put it in and kind of get the, you can see that, got that sharp end 
right there sharp end and you just go ahead and poke it on in there <laughs> I say easier said enough huh okay just go ahead and poke it on in there pull it out take this little quarter inch hose put that on there tight now, but I guess it's supposed to be. So, take my wire snips. I leave a lot of extra hose because I just do. So, did I take two of these out? No, I just took one. Okay. So I'll do it again. For that bucket, I'm gonna put one right here. It's in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Slide that right there over that little connector take my lemon ply leave a little extra because I got plenty of this for what I'm going to do and then there we go so you know go ahead and put the pump back on this is a little weak pump this is a pump I had when I used to shed crawfish I mean shed uh, crabs and uh, I kind of hear it moving and there's water coming out of there it ain't much but it's something so that's all you need so like everybody said I'm gonna put on a timer one two three more buckets to go then I connect them into this and I'm rocking and I'm rolling. I glued that right there, the coupler. Because that's old two inch pipe that's just laying around here. He was using that for fence posts in the chicken coop. <laughs> so I'm sent that's another project I'm working on right now. Hopefully tomorrow I'll finish that up. But it's working. Oh look at that. I lost my Put that in there like that. Well, oh, it ain't working. Huh. Put that big rock on there. This in there. I'll get some something to hold them in. I could probably just do that. And that'll no right here. That'll probably hold it. Out to the uh, nothing's working here. There. So there's, there's some water coming out of there, but I'm gonna find another way to hold them in there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna draw a little, draw a little hole in there, right there. That's what I'm gonna do. This is the hydroponic. Got it all hooked up. Uh, see. We got some cucumbers going here. Hey, just a little trickle going. And nothing in that one yet, but there's some peppers. That's two jalapeno peppers and unknown. Something I grew before. 
That's some tomatoes. A little bitty, but they'll get big soon, hopefully. More peppers. More little bitty tomatoes. What I do since it's been cold tonight, I'm going to just put these caps on and maybe keep a little bit. It'll get light tomorrow while I'm going. There's some other, that's Wayne's tomatoes that he gave me and that's some jalapeno peppers that I don't know what I'm going to do with. These are some more tomatoes. This one's looking a little wilty, but it'll come back. It just looks like it needs to. And the rest of them don't have nothing in them right now. I will put more as soon as they come on, but the way it's going is water's coming through that tube, down the middle, into each bucket, and then filters into that, comes back, and it's going back into the reservoir. I was going to make it to where the cap did that, but it, you know, it's on, and it covers it, it's on tight, so it covers it enough, but that's the hydroponics, they call Dutch buckets, both sides, so we'll see, see what happens. Okay, uh, I've thought about my trellising options for my hydroponic Dutch bucket situation. And I think I'm gonna go with bamboo. I've done this a few times. And I got Plenty enough bamboo right here to choose from. I think I'm gonna get a nice big pole here. This one's almost past its prime, I guess. I don't know. So, Timber. Oh. Let me tell you something. You see this bamboo? These are all sectioned off. You ever throw this stuff on fire? You better clear out. Because it will explode. And when it explodes, it's loud. Do not put bamboo on a fire. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that. Now nah, I threw a whole bunch of little pieces like the branches that I'm getting ready to cut off. They pop like firecrackers. So I can imagine if you threw one of these big mama jammas on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Go ahead and take the Friday the thirteenth knife out and just go down the line. You don't leave too much on there because they will it will get you those those uh little points are sharp and this stuff is tough all the way up to the tip top Oop, i think i did myself in there so what you want to do when you yeah anyway that's about as tall as I really wanted to go. So, you really shouldn't leave that as a uh, 
sharp point like that, like I just cut it. I don't know if it'll, no, oh, see, it broke right there. So, we'll put it on the ground and there we go. So, I'll let it cure a little bit before I do, because boy, you gotta watch these, these are sharp like crazy. You gotta watch these right here because they show up like crazy. Let it kind of get itself to where it needs to be, but whew, look how tall that is. So, I don't think anything is gonna grow quite that tall. But that's a tall one. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna come put it right there. And let it just sit right there. So I'm gonna tie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw these into the the boards, the landscape timber. <laughs> and uh screw them in the landscape timbers at the bottom and rest it probably could just go no i'm gonna i'm gonna get it to where it's, it's tight into there might even screw it into the top of that bucket to give it two anchor places but anyway, I'm going to come from the top with a string. I'm going to get up there on a the ladder and tie a string down to the buckets in probably one or two spots right here. Two spots on here close to that. This one's got two plants in it. I, you know, I put that in there thinking then one of them would go and both of them went. So I'll bring a string down from this one to that one. That should be black crumbs. And that's a mortgage lifter or on backwards, let's see. No, this is mortgage lifter. That's a black crumb. These are two. That's bell pepper for sure. I don't know what this is. That's stuff I had in the ground last year that survived the winter. I pulled up and put them in these and see if they go. These are two jalapeno peppers, and I don't know what that is right there. That was in the ground last year too, but it really looks a lot like jalapeno, but it might be bell pepper. But I don't care. I just put them in there to grow. Cucumber, some something called a mango melon, lettuce. My buddy gave me some of that and it's growing. So can make salads right now. That's a super sauce. Boy, those things are hard to get going, man. You can see all of this other stuff I did from seeds is doing great. Even that, you know, that's a little slow, but they're doing all right. Those are doing fine. I think that's a steakhouse. I think that's a steak sandwich I don't know steak something this is steak sandwich here and this must be steakhouse yeah steakhouse so they're doing fine they're gonna go this one is a super sauce and that's just some scraggly lettuce I threw in there I don't know I'm like I'm gonna put one of these that's a ruby rainbow Ruby German green, Ruby German green and rain, rain, big rainbow. I'm going to put one of those in there and then the other ones are going to go in the garden. No, actually I'll probably put another one in there. Hydroponically and get that lettuce out of there. Because it's getting hot. Let's see, is that, what's that taste like? Hold on, give me a little. Mm, it's not better. Good texture, not bad. So, I'm making hamburgers tonight, so I might put some of that on my hamburgers. I don't know, make a nice little salad though. It's got a few more days before that's gonna, before this is gonna be ready to be put in there. Actually, I could probably put one or the other of these in there now, which I think I'll do in a little bit. Anyway, that's how I'm gonna trellis this. That's how I'm gonna trellis this. Just take a string and tie it from the top. Come down. These poles are really strong, man. 
bamboo is strong it'll hold up and i'm gonna i'm gonna put strings coming down to the pots and then i'm gonna use the tomato clips you have y'all ever see those plastic ones that clip the string and the branch at the same time anyway that's what i'm gonna use so it's rolling little things i'm learning here and there about this is make sure all your joints are solid because you lose your water if they're not slowly and that water once you put the nutrients in is it's money it's cost so anyway everything's rolling on the homestead or hope beginnings of a homestead right, this is the uh hydroponics i finally got a trellis so that's how i did it i got everything trellised up and i had a little accident that tomato got kind of smashed but i think it'll be all right see how it kind of got damaged but I, i'll let it go this one's still doing fine. I had two of them in there, but the big one got hit. This little one <laughs> was nothing. It was smaller than that little one. It was as big as that little bitty one right there. Just maybe five days ago, and now it's that big. So that's a super soft. These are big rainbows. This is some lettuce. So... Uh, these are steak houses. These are steak sandwiches, I believe. They're steak sandwiches. Yeah, steak sandwich. So, look how big they are. I'm already starting to train them up. And this right here is a grape tomato that a guy gave me from work. I need to put another string going up because it has a sucker coming off and I'm going to train two lines off of it. That right there is, I believe that's a mortgage lifter right there. Let's see, I got, I believe, yeah. Is that a mortgage lifter or black creme? Black, black creme. This is the black creme. That's a black creme. These are various, uh, bell peppers and you can see these are two bell peppers that i grew last year in the ground and they made it through the winter so i dug them up washed off the roots and i put them into the dutch buckets and they're just look at the look at the amount of flowers on these i mean they're just this one just it looked so pitiful and that's just the flowers it's just putting out like crazy this one has peppers already on it there's pe the flowers are everywhere on there there's just flowers everywhere so these are mortgage lifters so they're doing well these started out in these as small as this was just maybe probably two weeks ago so that's once they get going, they just take off. And right here, these are some, this is a pepper that I had from last year. Let's see, I'm gonna, I can't even hardly, they're, they're intertwining so much. Okay, so this is a pepper that I had from last year that survived in a, dug it up out of the ground put it in here and it's got flowers all over it and it's making peppers and this was two uh i bought some jalapeno peppers and it's starting to put out flowers it's just getting a very small portion of flowers on them but they all i mean it's gonna i'm sure it's gonna be too way too crowded in there I don't know. I'm just going to let them grow, you know. It, it, if they do, they do. They, but they're going to make... I'm sure I'm going to get tons of peppers. This is that mango melon. 
and I started up some seeds in a tray and then I washed them off and they're doing all right but you know they're just so fragile they're very fragile I don't know why they're so fragile but they are but they're doing so much better than the ones I put in the soil they're, I got some in soil in the soil garden but these are just way farther along and this would be the cucumbers and they started out in some pots like these right there and then I just put them in here and look how fast they are taking off they're just gone starting to get the first little looks of some uh, some flowers right there and right there and they, they I mean I'm gonna train them up here and I'm gonna just let them sprawl out onto the ground but they are doing fine so the way I have that trellis is it goes up all the way to there and I put the bamboo across I cut that bamboo off my property I got bamboo growing in a little patch so I made the bamboo trellis and what I did is I just I uh, screwed that bamboo see the screw into the landscape timber and then I just tied it up at the top over there I kind of put a little tie wrap some wire around it to, to the bucket right there and then I used string on this one I just took some string and tied it I didn't even do nothing with the other side I might do something later but it, it's very sturdy I mean it's sturdy enough I mean it, the whole thing wobbles but I mean the whole thing wobbles and the whole system would wobble but unless we get some kind of major hurricane I ain't got to worry about nothing it's gonna be it's gonna be it's, it's strong it's sturdy and if I have to I can even tie it off to this tree one day this tree will be coming out that's a sassafras that's a big sassafras tree too that's a big sassafras and uh I could even tie that to make it but this is just a test to see how things do in a hydroponic system a dutch bucket system and wow blow me away I mean that's just blow my ears back how great this is doing so Thank you to the MHP Gardener. I mean, he don't post no more right now, but man, his old posts have taught me enormous amounts. And uh, there's some other people out there. Let's see. Uh, I would say MHP Gardener. I would say uh, uh, Mike Van Duzzi. He's real good with teaching you how to do water garden and stuff. Tiki O, I like her, uh, I like, uh, of course, uh, Northern Seclusion, and ja Joe and Zach Survival, he teaches a good garden stuff, and uh, there's just so many people, of course, uh, Deep South Homestead, they, they teach a lot of good stuff, and there's so many of them. There's so many YouTube channels that teach you how to do this stuff. I couldn't list them all. I wish I could say them all. I mean, just a few I said. <coughs> I watch so many channels. And you learn so much. I can just say, learn as much as you can now. Because one day, you might not be able to get this kind of awesome access to just incredible knowledge on how to do different things and there's so much to learn and then they give you ideas and you can use your own into intuitiveness to do your own thing so I mean most people I see do this in hoop houses and stuff I'm just doing it outside you know I got if you know if it rains on it fine whatever we gotta deal with bugs whatever there's so much i i've learned from different people out there just gather the knowledge 
and then you can do so much with it if you look up in that window right there I got things growing in the, in the inside and just mason jaws I got uh I can show real quick through the window that's a uh, basil growing in there and then uh some spinach but it's bolting some of it's bolted I got lettuce I got green onions growing in there. I got different things. I got, oh, there's some dill right there. Some dill. And some cilantro. That's cilantro right there. And I got all of that right here, too. That's uh, the basil. That's the same age as that. That's some cilantro right there. That's the same age. This, and that's just lettuces and stuff it's a little too late in the season for that but that's some lettuce that a guy gave me from work that's some uh, butter crunch and it's you know you can just eat that right now delicious mm. perfect great flavor wow I'm gonna eat that out of there and I'm gonna throw a tomato in there after I I don't know. I'm just going to let it go. I don't know. I got so much tomato. I got 40 something tomato plants in the garden. In the ground. And I got these going. This was just. I threw some seeds that I actually had. And they just happened to come up. So I said let me do them. And if you know if they don't make too much tomato. It's alright. I can pick suckers off of them. And propagate them. Because I never saw those seeds before anywhere else. Big rainbow. And uh, something like ruby red or ruby German. Something. I don't know. Uh, I got them growing. I'm uh, propagating.